going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the Feiyaki, or Feiyachi, or however the Feiyaki you want to say it. Uh, S17 backup flip up iron sights uh, that they sent me over to give you guys a good look at and I appreciate that. I always appreciate companies sending me stuff to give you guys a good look at it and here we go. These are a affordable backup iron sight option offered by Feiyaki uh, that slap right onto your pick rail on top such as any other backup iron sights do. This is something that I don't feel you really need to overcomplicate whenever you're throwing this on, say, a hunting rifle, a range rifle, or anything like that. This is known as a backup sight, and that is exactly what it will be. You will probably 99% of the time having these on here not be using these unless you're looking for dedicated iron sights, to which you would not be buying folding rear sights or folding sights altogether. Uh, so there you go. No need to overcomplicate this at a very affordable price range. There's no real need to spend a lot of money on a setup of backup sights for no reason at all. So here it is. Uh, these seem to work very well and you can see how low profile they are. They have a nice cut to them on the front as opposed to their other models that Feiyaki does have. I do like these that are very nicely sloped. They have a very nice design to them over a say a just a block of metal. A few lighting cuts on here on the upper portion of the front sight. Uh, a th little bit of wobble of course with the push of a finger. Uh, but otherwise they stay upright as they need and stay down as you need them. Uh, so they are toolless design and you can see right there these are made of aluminum and here is the toolless adjustment. You just give that a twist to whichever direction you need and if you're worried about that being bumped by anything whenever you have this on your rifle because uh, you can see the adjustment right there is quite exposed. They do have a very small uh, locking allen key in there that you can Give that a twist and lock that to the adjustment that you need once you get it there. And then you set it and forget it and use them as backup iron sights to which you will probably never ever use if you have a primary optic on. However, having the option to drop back to iron sights is always a good thing, which is why we put backup sights on our rifle, correct? As you can see right here in the rear as well, they pop up very nicely. They stay up and they stay down whenever you're shooting. I have not had any experience, any issues with these whatsoever so far. I've had them on for about a good five months, I think, somewhere around there. And you can see the adjustment on the back. You have two peep in the rear uh, sight back there and your simple no tool adjustment right there. Very nice looking set of iron sights, in my opinion. They look very well and they fit very well on this budget build. This is my Bear Creek Arsenal 7.62x39. Again, without getting too expensive on it, some of these objects that I needed on here or wanted to have on there, uh, they function just perfectly for what they are. So I have a link down here in the description box down below for their Amazon site and you can get a good look at these. I think these have a much better look than a lot of other offerings uh, by the Chinese companies on Amazon. So if, if I were to pick one to purchase, this is the model that I would be looking at. I think it has a much more uh, character characteristic design to them outside of some of the other just blocky looking, very boring very bland and very cheap looking ones out there. Uh, these definitely have a nice profile to them. And on that note of profile, you can see on my scope right here that I have mounted with this Lupold uh, scope mount. This is actually a lower uh, type of mount as opposed to all the rest of my mounts out there. And you can see this still fits just fine under there. Uh, it doesn't make contact with the scope and at all, even if I push on it, you can see it's not making contact. So uh, this fits very nicely underneath there, very low profile. They're about point five inches from the top of the rail to the top of the uh, the mount of this uh, site itself. So it fits very nicely underneath there. I like the way that looks very clean uh, underneath there, especially using this low of a profile scope mount. So again, these are all aluminum construction. There's no plastic to these whatsoever, which is a nice touch if you're wanting some kind of durability uh, out, of an, out of a backup iron sights. And on that note, people buy plastic iron sights all the time plastic sights instead of iron, which most sites aren't made of iron anymore. So <laughs> there you go. Take that for what it's worth. Again, a very nice aggressive looking stance. Even when you're just using the sights by themselves without a primary optic, uh, they do the job just fine with the rear having uh, two apertures in the back from zero to 200 and then out and beyond. Very robust design from what I can tell. Um, I don't see these breaking anytime soon, but if they do, hey, I guess I'll have to report back. But uh, as far as right now, with the 600 rounds I have through these uh, on this rifle and breaking it in and uh, trying to find the issues that I was having with this upper, which will be in a separate video, 
Uh, I went through about 600 rounds with these on here and have had no problems with them whatsoever. Very affordable option to have on something that you really don't need to, like I said, overthink putting it on a setup like this. We're not going into battle. Um, well, most of us aren't. And even some of us who are going to battle have plastic sights <laughs> as backups. So there you go. Uh, these don't seem to have a problem. They look very well on there, function very solid, uh, toolless design if you're needing that. Again, and if you're worried about bumping it, they got that uh, little Allen key in there that you can tighten it all up. I'll probably never have to use these outside of testing them out for you guys, So, but it's good to have that option on there and uh, have it look pretty decent in my opinion. So again, these are the Feaki S17 backup sights. I have them linked down there for the Amazon site down below if you want to check them out, see what other offerings they have as well. Um, and again, I think if I was to purchase any of theirs, this is a, a better looking design and better, better functioning design in my opinion. Uh, so happy they sent them over. I appreciate that. Feiyaki, Feiyachi, however the, however the Feiyaki you want to say it. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.